Hello, this is Tim from milehighthemes.com. We're the creators of the multi-theme. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to show sub-collections on your collections pages. Now, it is important to note that Shopify doesn't officially support sub-collections, meaning that all the collections you create in Shopify are technically all on the same level. There's no way to nest them or anything like that. But with some functions that you've got built into the theme, including this one here, you can sort of create the illusion of having sub-collections by presenting them in a way that makes it easy for your customers to dig down into sub-collections of your actual collections. Hope that makes sense. So to show you how that works, I'm in my online stores theme area, and I'm going to go ahead and customize this theme. From here, I'm going to go to a collection page and choose default collection template and I'm looking at the all-in-one computers collection. First thing you'll notice is that there is a section here called child collection list, and that's what we're talking about today. If you don't see this here, you can click add section and it's right there, you can just add it. Once you've added it, if you click on it, you'll see some options here to add headings and subheadings and some other options here, but nothing will show until we set up a meta field for this. The meta field is designed to let us select which collections should be showing as sub-collections for this particular collection. So obviously, since you'll want to show different sub-collections on different collection pages, we'll need to use a meta field so you can do so. Otherwise, if you just select collections, then all of the collections showing here will be the same on all of your collection pages. So in order to create this meta field, I'm just going to click exit out of here in a new tab, and I'm going to go to settings custom data, collections, add definition. So I'm going to, you can call this whatever you want. You just call it sub collections, for example. But it's important to note that this word custom that is filled in automatically needs to be changed to the word theme. So it should be theme.subcollections, all lowercase, just like this. And I'm getting a warning that says it's already taken because I've already created this meta field for this store, but you should not get this warning. So since I already have it created, um, I'm not going to create it again, but from here you would select type and you would choose collection and then list of collections and save. So I can't save because this one's already there. So I'm just gonna discard this and continue by going in and showing you the one that we already have. So here it is here. You can see that the namespace and key is theme.subcollections, just like I showed you. It's a collection with a list of collections. So that's all that's required to create the meta field. From here, I'm just going to go to a collection page. In this case, I'm gonna choose the all-in-one computers collection since that's the one we were looking at before. And if we scroll to the bottom, you'll see that there are these meta fields down here. So there's our child collections one. That was what was created already. You might have named this sub collections or whatever, but just remember what it was called. Click in here. And now you just have to select which collection should show as sub collections for this collection. So I'm gonna just click a few of these and save. So now back in my theme customizer, theoretically, sometimes this will take a minute or two before these meta fields will kick in within the Shopify servers. But if I refresh this, then there should be sub collections showing and here they are. So we can now have an easy way for your customers to navigate to some other sub collections of these products. And this is in a carousel. I only added five here, but it's in a carousel here, so you can get to it easily and rotate through. And that's how you create sub collections to show on your collection pages. Hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to our support team. We'd be happy to help. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.